Hi guys, welcome back to this week's episode. Uh, we step away from the virtual a bit and head back to the physical. Um, I thought this week um, I'd run through some of my uh, short card supers. I, I've got another uh, pack of those um, the short card protectors and I thought um, you know as I, as I put the, the short card supers that I have in them we can quickly run through the ones that I do have. I know for American viewers, uh, you you laugh at the at the small, yeah yeah it's it's a it's a very small collection of of short card supers that I, that I have. Um, we we aren't as lucky as you guys to get the sort of um, I've spoken about this before, not the sort of numbers, the restocks. Um, and I think overall the short cards are just a bit uh, scarcer and maybe a little bit more distributed uh, across more cases than, than what the, the, the long cards are. Um, so yeah, finding short card supers on the pegs here is a real challenge. I know plenty of collectors that have been at it for years and years and years and they've never found one in the wild. Um, so to that end, um, I, I think I've been fairly lucky. Um, most of these I've found uh, in the wild. Um, one or two I have traded for, and um, I think I've shown those before. The um, I'll just put up a picture. I don't have them in front of me. They're already in the short card um, protectors. The Tune Batmobile and the um, the Nova Gas was the other one that I traded for. Uh, the ones I have in front of me now are all uh, all of them I found in the wild, except for one one that I traded for one that I found in the wild. Uh, it's one that I um, preferred to the one that I did find. Uh, and then also the uh, anomaly uh, of a couple of weeks ago um, where I got a US seller to sell me um, his short card super. Uh, I, I don't actually know how he came, uh, came to have it. Um, but yeah, so this one's done the round trip from somewhere where there were short cards uh, all the way to the US and back here. Um, so yeah, let's let's dive into it. Um, there aren't that many. I've got uh, what's this five in front of me now. Um, so I, I think I've got a total of about ten or so short card supers. Uh, I've got qu quite a few on long cards um, because they are easier to to buy um, and import. Um, the the short cards, as I've mentioned before as well, the short cards do tend to go for a bit more online as well. So. Um, they are they can get quite pricey if, especially if you want the the more sort of sought after ones um so yeah let's uh, i'm just gonna open up this it's still in the bubble wrap i haven't really touched it yet uh, but if you watch my videos uh, you would have seen these before um they're just the the normal clamshell type uh, short card protectors. There's a South African importer that brings these short card protectors, and they are a bit difficult to fold, so you have to be careful with the, with the bend at the bottom. Um, but other than that, they're nice and clear, um, you know, and the, and they they fit snugly around the card, all around the edges. No branding on these; these are just completely blank. Um, and yeah, good good product. Um, okay, let's start out with the first one that I found on the bag. I actually have two of these. Uh, I used to have three of these, the Roadster. So why this particular car is when I started collecting, we had this. I don't even know which wave this is. It would have been back in 2012 or 13. This is 2013. This was A or B case. And we had these on the shelves forever. These cases just kept being restocked and kept being restocked. And... Probably for a year, these were the only ones that we got. So subsequently, most collectors eventually found um, these supers on the shelves and in the wild. Um, I I managed to find three um, just in the small area that I that I collected in. Um, so yeah, I, I I do remember either trading or selling off one of them. I've got two of them left. So so that's you know I, I, I keep this one. It's not wasn't ever the most popular one. Um, it is the redeeming feature is that it has the Hot Wheels uh, racing team livery on it. But other than that, uh, it is a fantasy casting. It's not brilliant, but it's it's all right. Um, so yeah, 
I've got a few of those and I'll pop that into the protector. And we'll mine the bend. It is a little hot to fold. Yeah. Once you do have it folded, it'll stay in place. And it closes fairly flush at the bottom. And there you go. Ready for the tub or the pegs or however you want to display them. Uh, I'm going to save the best for last. So second, second one is this one. I found this on a holiday trip to Cape Town. Um, that's the thing with finding uh, only a few of these in the wild. You do remember all of them. Each, each one of them has got some sort of story, or you remember how you found it, or what you were doing that day. Another two. Roses that I do remember is, is one I found when I quickly popped into before a meeting I had some had to pick up some hardware uh, and the shop just happened to have Hot Wheels and that's how I found found the first one uh, The second one I, I found while out grocery shopping one Saturday morning and I do remember that I was way under the weather I, I was running a fever. It's really not a, not a good day uh, Cheered me right up uh, you, as you can imagine uh, this one, yeah, found this uh, on one of our Cape Town trips. Uh, walked up to the toy shelf um, in one of our chain stores, and there was a there was a, 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 a an opened case on the floor. Uh, a couple of Hot Wheels on the pegs. Um, just took a chance, took a quick look inside. I could see that there were a couple of cars missing. So whoever went through the case before me didn't know what they were looking for. Uh, just saw the. So the purple and went, oh, that's a that's a very good looking deep purple. Pulled it out and uh, there you go. Super on the first day of holiday, that, that worked out very well. Pop that in the protector. So yeah, those are the two that probably the, the least popular, least sought after ones that I have. Uh, let's see if I fold this beforehand, if it's a bit better, yep. Yeah looks a bit better okay this one the Chevy 2 this um, this was one I was looking at getting uh, at actually importing I, I really like the flames on this uh, the dark hot pink on this really nice uh, love the casting I like how the the super really differed from the from the regular the regular was sort of a flat pink uh, a, a lot duller than this um, and I was I was actually looking at importing one and I found it I was about to pull the trigger and I found it on on a business trip about two days later um, So that saved me quite a bit of money uh, finding this one at, at peg prices um, It was just in a small town stopped over for some business uh, Went through the the Hot Wheels selection It was probably a quarter of a case or a third of a case that they put out and uh, yep, yeah, just uh, noticed the pink look. Look, very, that's one of the things I was I was I was looking out for um, back then. Is especially like this one as well. There's there's no noticeable. The th must be on the other side. Um, so I used to flip them over quickly and check for for the tread on the tires on the real riders. I don't know if this is going to focus on the on the wheels, but. I know not all supers have got uh, tread on the tires these days. Uh, if they've got racing slicks, we can have a look at the the other two on the desk that they don't have. But that was that was sort of my instinctive first move. Is if I didn't didn't know the paint paint job, you know what the what the supers the Spectraflame paint would be like. Um, the treasure hunt logo is actually at the back uh, on the boot lid. Uh, but it's very it's very small. It's not a it's not a prominent th um, So yeah, that's that's what I used to do uh, when I wasn't sure is just quickly flip them over <laughs> have a look for tire tread um, And yeah, that's I remember this one spotting the tread before anything else um, When I wasn't sure about the paint job uh, so yeah Packaged and ready to go uh, And then another pink one 
I found a the the, the Mazda RX-7, um, the 25th anniversary one, the one that I, I showed a couple of videos ago. I'll, I'll put up a picture quick. Um, I found that in the wild one night, uh, also after work. Um, stopped by uh, a, a place not too far from my house. Um, and um, yeah, they, they put, put, put out a couple of cases and I, and I managed to snag the, the RX-7. But it wasn't it wasn't my favorite. I wasn't really into JDM um, back then, uh, and this one was doing the rounds at at the time. And I have a, a, a collector buddy in here in South Africa that, that really goes for the supers, and he tries and collect uh, tries to collect, and he and he manages to do it as well. Uh, all of the supers in triplicate, so one long card, one short card, one loose. Of each, and he had a couple of loose card, uh, uh, a couple of short cards that he was willing to trade. This was one of them. So uh, I went for this for the Rod Squad 57 Chevy. This is really more up my alley. Um, so not not really a gasser, but a a, a nice bright um, hot rod with with uh, with some cool graphics as well. So I, I preferred this one. To the RX-7 and um, yeah I did manage to pick up the RX-7 earlier this year um, if you do remember the videos um, picked it up for a good price from a fellow South African collector as well uh, it's on long card but don't don't mind it was a very good price and uh, yeah never never really look back from this trade um, I, I, I think I uh, really prefer this one so we're coming up to the last one Let's just separate one for the for the pink hot rod. Put that in there. Beautiful. I'm really liking these short card protectors. It soothes the OCD. You don't have that um, blank space at the top. Nice and bright. Okay, that's it for the pink ones. And then the last one um, is probably the it's it's the best short card that I have. Uh, it's one of, one of the better ones that they've made. Um, and it, I'm guessing by now it'll fetch quite a good price. Um, these these tend to appreciate quite well. It's the 302 Boss. Uh, it's from 2015. It's in that bronze color with the the printed Goodyear tires as well. So a really nice version. Found this with my wife in an in a, in a dump in at one of the grocery stores, the local ones. Um, just sort of spotted it from from the the, the dump in where they they just they just. Um, and packed some old stock this I mean this was I found this way after the release date um, and just immediately recognized they were sort of on its side immediately recognized the um, that bronze color I sort of sort of saw it from this angle and just went ha ah, the basic is a very uh, very deliberate orange um, as you see on the card, that's that's closer to what the basic is. So the, there's there's quite a significant difference between the the paint colors between the basic and the super. Um, let's get this little speck of dust out out of there. So this one that is one that really belongs in a in a protector. Um, I've always had it in a long card, but um, like I mentioned before, the long cards there's a bit of play in the in the long card protectors, even if you have the official Hot Wheels ones. Uh, so yeah, this fits way better, and that's it. So I'll leave the for the South African viewers. I'll leave the link uh, to these protectors um, in the description down below uh, if you're wanting to pick some up. They're not cheap. Um, I can I can uh, honestly say that, but um, it's a good product. Uh, it's unbranded, as mentioned, but sturdy uh they fit perfectly uh they they, they close up flush um so yeah I, I'm, I'm very happy with the product so uh, if you've got something of of value that you want to uh want to protect um 
I'd, I'd recommend spending the cash and, and maybe getting getting a couple of these. Uh, as I said, because it's short card supers, I don't have that many. I've got 10. Um, I think the only other thing left to put in these are the ID cars. I've got uh, short card ID cars. Uh, only about two of them, so um, I'll pop those into protectors as well. But yeah, for the... For the um, that's it for the... The short card super feature, those are my, probably my favorites if I had to pick them. I'll leave those two unpopular ones to one side. But I would say those are probably my, my favorites. Let's see where I'm going with these. Um, so yeah, that's it for this week. Um, it's uh, nice to actually get get something out that you can see and touch. Um, so yeah, uh, next week, not sure what we'll, what we'll be covering next week, but I'll, I'm sure I'll, I'll find something. Uh, and yeah, uh, oh, uh, today is the release date of that um, uh, of that. Um, So yeah, that's it for this week. Um, I'll see you guys again next week. And uh, yeah, keep well, keep safe. Cheers.